Hey friends, Catherine here. I have a thought. I want to do a top-down view of a pond with a couple koi fish in it. Um, with a balloon smash. Uh, I think it's going to work. Um, so I've got this canvas. This is an 8 by 10 canvas that I bought at the dollar store for a dollar. So we'll see how well it works out. Let's just set ourselves up for success. And then the first thing that I want to establish is the water. So I've got like three different colors of blue. I've got like this real, real dark, like navy blue. Go this one here. We're just going to oh splash around quite a bit. That's okay. Whatever. It'll all work out. It'll be what it'll be. Then I've got this kind of almost grayish blue. You might remember these two colors from a couple paintings back. Let's just do that around too. But then I've got a new color that I mixed up. This is like a cotton blue with like just a hint of turquoise in it because the cotton blue was just too light for my taste. So that we're going to use all around here as well. Let's just get that all on there. Maybe some out in this direction. And that'll hopefully establish us up with a pretty good background. So I'm just gonna kinda shake it to even it out a little bit, hopefully. And then maybe tip it so that I get it down all of the sides and over the corners. And like that. And I'm losing a lot of that like navy blue color, but that's all right. It'll all work out. We can always put more on, of course. I'm just trying to get it good and coated evenly for the moment. And that gives us a pretty good base to be working with. It's not really too much cells or anything like that, but that's not going to be the main feature of this painting anyway. This is just setting us up with a background, which I actually kind of like. It's not a lot of things happening at once, but I think that's a good thing for this. And it's got like this nice, like, great gradating wave bit going on here, but Oh, I'm going to drip all over this. That's all right. Let's just drip a little bit since we've got paint on our fingers anyway. There we go. Something like that. Whatever. Yeah, that's fun. Grab a paper towel and clean our hands off. And now we're come we're going to come to the koi. Well, not exactly clean, but close enough on those hands there. Okay. So now let's, let's plan out what we want for a koi. I want like this nice uh, tangerine color. We're going to want some white, obviously. And I've got some like hot red and I've got some bright yellow, but I don't think I want to use any of the, either of those in this. Mm, maybe a little bit. <clears throat> We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So let's start with just like one right there, kind of like that. And then just take and drip a little bit of this orange right in the center of that. And then another dot right over here, starting off with the orange. Hopefully keep it from dripping too bad. And then go in with the white on top of it. Okay. Okay. Those are gonna be our two koi. So we've got one that is white underneath and orange on top and one that is orange underneath and white on top. Um, and we will now take 
our balloon, because we did say this was going to be a balloon smash, and put it into that koi and press it down and then lift it up and drag. See if we can't drag a little lower, get it a little wider into the body. Yeah, okay. That's not terrible. We'll go to the other one. Let's clean off our balloon a little bit. And dip it into the koi and then drag it. Okay. So that I think is pretty nice for establishing our two fish. So that's going to be their main shapes. Now we're going to let this dry and then we're going to come back over it with either a tipped bottle that has black or maybe like a red in it. Ooh, yes, actually a tipped bottle with red in it and draw the features of the koi over these bodies that we've laid out. So as soon as this is dry, it'll be a couple days, but as soon as this is dry, we'll come back and you'll get to see drawing the koi over it. I should say it'll be a couple days for me. It'll be instantly for you. All right, see you in a little bit. So it's been like a week. I probably should have gotten back to this before now, but I didn't. Um, I have put some of that really red paint, this really red paint, into this little squeeze bottle with this tiny, tiny tip on it. And we're gonna work on doing some koi. We're gonna, we're gonna paint some koi. Let's, I wanna do the one closest to me and then I'll turn it and this one will then be closest to me and we'll do it that way. That's, how I feel like it would be best. So let's, let's get going. Let's get started. Let's see. think is it not too bad yeah what do you think do you like it I like it not not too bad uh, <laughs> if you liked it definitely let me know I'm always glad to hear from you um, if you want to see more things like this well probably not just like this this one this one I lost my inspiration about halfway through, so it's it took me a while to come back to it, but it's done. It's here, and I am pleased with the result, so I'm, I'm happy I got it finished. Um, but if you want to see other things kind of like this, I'm always, as I mentioned, happy to hear from you. And remember to subscribe, and I will see you all another day. Bye!